And then he um, saw the guys there, maybe from like the fifth inning on, doing a lot of banging on things in the dugout, and yelling and cheering and clapping and whatnot. Did you feel a um, shift in demeanor or energy tonight based on um, – compared to the last couple nights here? Yeah, no, we um, – you know, they definitely were into, into the game. I mean, we've been into the game. They were loud. You know, um, we had some balls good. But, you know, things were not going – you know, things weren't falling. So they really got loud there. And then um, obviously that, that extra inning um, thing, they were really loud. So uh, it was good to see. I, I told you before, these guys, they all pulled for each other. Um, they love the win. They love to celebrate. And that, that play in the 10 from the Eaton single – Looked like he maybe hit, hit it up the middle and then it bounced off the mound. Can you just kind of walk us through how, how you saw that all unfold? That was great, great, uh, great hustle play by um, by Stevenson. Uh, but you know, right there, all you know, Adams trying to hit the ball up the middle. Uh, great at bat, you know. But Stevenson, man, he, he I mean, he, he was hustling to get to second base and made it. Thank you, Mark Zuckerman, MassInSports.com. For as much as you guys have been trying to come through with big hits uh, and maybe some guys, especially young guys might be feeling the pressure. How impressive were the two walks um, by Kiboom and Stevenson to, to not, you know, uh, get too big in the strike zone or anything like that in those kind of spots. Uh, they were great at bats, great at bats, you know, in, in those situations. And we talked a lot about this, you know, man on second base, you know, what we were going to do. And, and it's just, you know, moving the baseball, trying to move the baseball. We're good at bats, trying to get on base. And they both did a great job with that. Um, I didn't want to bunt. You know, we we're playing on the road. Uh, I wanted these guys to swing the bat, but they worked two great at bats to get on base. Uh, and that's, you know, that's a testament to, to just teamwork, you know, and getting off for the next guy. And what did you think off the bat uh, the ball hit to Trey in the, uh, in the eighth inning? Oh, it was an awesome play. I mean, awesome play. Um, you know, but we had the right, you know, right guy. I mean, you know, Max was phenomenal tonight. Uh, Huddy comes in, you know. Um, he's done it before in those situations. Comes in and gets gets the ball we needed. We needed a double play ball, but um, Trey made an unbelievable play. Byron Kerr, MassSports.com. Hey, Davey. Uh, what did you think about uh, the work of Daniel Hudson striking out the side after he'd already gotten the double play and coming in in the ninth, and then uh, Tanner Rainey? Just tremendous work. Six of the final eight outs were strikeouts. No, they, you know, um, those two guys are pitching well. You know, very pleased with Huddy. I mean, I love him. He goes out, they takes the ball whenever he's called upon. And uh, his velo was really good today. He, I mean, I think he was he was pumped up today um, after that double play. He goes back out there and, like you said, strike out the side. Uh, give the ball to Rainey. And Rainey's been pitching well. And uh, he does, this, does the same thing. So, um you know, our pitching has been good. You know, we're swinging the bats. You know, the bats, is, you know, we're going to get our hits. And I tell those guys, hey, you can't control where the ball goes. Just keep putting the ball in play. I mean, you know, Stevenson had some really good at-bats today. He hit a couple balls hard, uh, tremendous walk. Um, Carter, you know, hit a ball up the middle. I mean, that, you know, those for young kids, that's what we want to see. You know, just move the baseball. But, you know, the, the, the big home run and stuff, it'll come. But just move the baseball. Can you talk about uh, Tanner in that situation coming in with a man on already and, you know, the, all they need to do is make contact and he's be able to strike three guys out? Yeah, for me, it's, it was more, you know, uh, we scored four runs. We didn't care about that guy in second base. We told yep. him that, hey, don't worry about the guy in second base. You know, you're just here to get outs, you know, get three outs. Um, and he, he, he did a great job for us. George Strong, Canadian Press. Hey, I, uh, just wondering what the uh, game plan was coming into tonight against Nate Pearson, who's making his big league debut. Oh, you know, he, he um, Toronto's got a good one there. I mean, he, he, you know, got a good live fastball, uh, threw, threw some really good breaking balls, but, you know, he's going to be really good. Our game plan was to try to get his pitch count up, um, see some pitches. You know, we'd never seen him before, but he was he was good. He was, he was around the plate. Um, I'm assuming that he did have some kind of a pitch count uh, but he threw the ball really well. Thank you. Jessica Camarado, MLB.com. Hey, Davey, after going into extra innings tonight, what do you now think about the uh, automatic runner rule at second? Well, today was good. We won. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's still, it's, it's, it's something that, you know, you know, 
in the seventh inning on, we, you know, I sat there with Tim Bogart and we were talking about, you know, if it does happen, what, what our strategy would be. Um, it was a conversation. It kind of brought back more of the, the typical National League um, kind of baseball without the DH, uh, per se. Um, but, you know, it was, it was fun. I mean, you know, um, I'm still a fan of just going, you know, just playing the game the way it's, you know, play, we just play for many years, but we'll see what happens. Like I said, today it felt good because we were able to win again. So uh, hopefully tomorrow we win in regulation. With, uh, with Carter and with Stevenson early in that 10th inning, sometimes it's easy for young guys just to get really anxious and not patient. But what did you think about their patience in those at-bats? Yeah, you know, they, like I said, you know I, talk, you know, I talked to Carter before we went up there. One, I didn't want him to bunt. Two, I said, hey, you, you, if anything, you got to stay in the middle of the field. You know, stay in the middle of the field. And um, he had some really good swings, and he worked the walk, which was awesome. For a young hitter, uh, put, be put in a situation like that, and, uh, and like you said, be patient and take his walks. That's huge. You know, and Stevenson, I've seen him do that time and time again. You know, he, he works counts 3-2, three, 3-2, two, three, two, three, two, um, and he does a great job with that. So, you know, kudos to both of those guys tonight. I mean, uh, big inning for us. Uh, those two guys taking their walks were huge. Mark Zuckerman, MassonSports.com. What was the conversation with Max after the seventh? Uh, did he have to talk his way into staying in the game? No, he was he was good. I mean, he, you know, he had no high leverage innings. He felt good. Um, and we talked we talked a lot about just you know he's going to have an extra day uh, before he pitches again. So he 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 said you know he felt really good. So he went out there and um, I didn't want him. To, I told him I said look you got about a hundred, hundred and eight, hundred nine pitches. I think he threw one twelve or one thirteen, which is you know for me beyond what I want him to do. Um, but he felt good. Um, so. Uh, we'll see, you know, he'll bounce back, see how he bounce back tomorrow. But um, he's got an extra day. So, you know, he'll be um, – he should be ready to go. And, and uh, we didn't get to ask you about how we pregame because it happened later on. Um, what exactly went on with him? And was he actually available to pinch it tonight? I didn't see him in the dugout at all. Yeah, he, I mean, he's going to be day-to-day. He's got a uh, upper back uh, tightness. Um, so, we'll see. He couldn't – he just – he couldn't get loose. Uh, so, we, we waited, you know, tried to wait as long as I could. Um, but I finally, you know, how to make a decision. I, you know, I told him, I just, you know, if you're available, pinch it. Uh, great, you know. Um, but, you know, I'm glad we didn't have to use him. We'll see how he feels tomorrow. All right, two more questions. The first one from Jesse Doherty, Washington Post. Sorry, I'm good. I was going to ask about Max. I probably should have taken my hand down. Sorry about that. Oh, you're good? <laughs> yep. All right. And the final question then from Howard Fenders, Associated Press. The, um, I, I guess you guys are better on the road than at home. Um, it, it's, uh, hey, it could be the blue jersey. Who knows? Was there any point where maybe you got confused or you were thinking it's the bottom, no way to the top or any of that? Was there any point at which, since you're obviously here so used to knowing you're batting in the bottom of each inning? Hey, you know, we were actually, uh, before the game, we were kidding around with the boys. I uh, just told them, I said, hey, remember, we're hitting first. Um, don't run out in the field, you know. And uh, the one guy that probably, you know, would have ran out in the field is Max, you know. So we made sure he knew that we were, we, we were the away team.